Now, I am answering a question from uh, Shivam Saurabh and he writes, I am Shivam of class 10. Sir, normal incidence on an interface should be considered as refraction or not. Sir, my confusion is refraction is bending and there is no bending. And by applying Snell's law, sin i by sin r is mu of medium 2 that gives 0 by 0 equal to infinity equal to mu which is not possible. So, that is that is the question and that is the confusion. So, there are two media medium 1 and medium 2. Then uh, normally when you open a textbook and the chapter is refraction of light, the incident ray is always shown oblique and then this is angle of incidence i, then they say it bends here and this is r. So, depending on which is optically denser, which is optically rarer, uh, this can be r can be greater than i or less than i, but sin i by sin r this is defined as refractive index of this medium 2 with respect to medium 1 and if this is air or vacuum then it is also called refractive index of the second medium. What happens if the incidence is normal? If the incidence is normal it does not bend it just goes straight and it should go straight because uh, if it is normal and it has to bend in which direction it will bend. There, there are so many directions uh, which are equivalent to each other. If this is how the light is falling on the interface and then you if there is a bending say of 10 degrees, now 10 degrees can be this side, 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 there are so many 10 degrees. So, this uh, incident light cannot choose which of them they are all equivalent. So, it must go straight that is the symmetry. Now, the question is do we call it refraction? Yes, we do call it refraction. Bending is uh, because of refraction, refraction itself is not bending. Okay? Since you are changing the medium therefore, there is refraction and therefore, if the this uh, incidence is oblique then there is a bending. So, bending is due to refraction and refraction is just uh, the medium changes you, you call it refraction. You may also have uh, learnt that this V 1 by V 2, V 1 by V 2 speed of light here and speed of light here. So, that is uh, in this uh, ratio uh, of mu, this is your ratio mu. So, independent of i and r you have refractive index defined in terms of the speed of light here and speed of light here v 2 by v 1 rather. Second medium is second medium ok, second medium it is smaller and right that is right, second medium the speed is smaller in this drawing and uh, this first medium is uh, speed is larger and this uh, mu is of second medium which is more than 1. So, it is like this. Now, the question is can I use this definition? This is of course, this definition is very much there. Can I use this definition for normal incidence? As uh, Shivam writes in this case i is 0, r is 0 and if I write sin i by sin r it is 0 by 0. He writes that it is infinity, it is not infinity, it is not infinity, it is indeterminate, it is called indeterminate. What does it mean? It means its value cannot be specified, it can have any value, it can have any value that is important, its value is not specific one constant that is why it is called indeterminate. So, depending on the context it can have many different values. So, that is why it is called indeterminate 
and in this context in this context it is just that mu because you can also write this as sin i this equation as sin i is equal to mu times sin r this same equation you can write this way now if sin i is 0 sin r is 0 0 is equal to mu times 0 no problem no problem with mathematics 0 is mu times 0 1.5 times 0 or 1.33 times 0 no problem that has to be 0 and therefore if you write this 0 by 0 in this context it has the same specific value whatever is the refractive index so even mathematics wise we do not have any problem with uh, Snell's law at uh, normal incidence also it is valid. So, that is about this question.